Hello viewers, 4DIYers here with an tutorial video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be doing a demonstration on how to bleed your brakes manually without any fancy tools. Also, don't forget to check out my website at www.4diyers.com or click on the link in the description below. If you have enjoyed this video, also don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel for future tutorial videos. If you have replaced a wheel cylinder, caliper, flex line, brake line, master cylinder, or any other brake components associated with the brake fluid, you will need to bleed the air out of the system. Other times, if your brake does feel spongy, air could possibly be present in the lines, and it will need to be bled. This applies to both disc and drum brakes. For this example, I'll be using disc brakes. Safely elevate your vehicle and remove the wheel. Sometimes you can pull the vehicle onto ramps. Depending on the design, you will be able to access the bleeder screw from in behind the wheel. With this vehicle here, I'm working with a 1997 BMW 540i, and I have just upgraded the rubber flex lines to stainless steel braided flex lines. Locate the bleeder screw. For calipers, they will be on the back side towards the top. For drum brakes, the bleeder screw will be located on the wheel cylinder exposed through the backing plate. Clean off the area around the bleeder screw as we don't want the risk of any dirt contaminating the area we're working with. When working with brake fluid, do not allow it to come in contact with paint, either by dripping or even any residue on your hands. Brake fluid can damage your vehicle's paint. Be sure you're able to get the bleeder screw loose as these can seize up over time. Use either boxed end of a wrench or a socket to loosen it. This will reduce the chance of stripping it. Place the wrench onto the bleeder screw first, then find an appropriate length of clear hose which fits tightly around the bleeder screw. Then have the other end facing into a cup or a drain pan. The hose will allow us to keep everything clean along with giving us a visual if there's any air in the system. Always keep an eye on the fluid level in the master cylinder reservoir as we don't want the fluid level dropping past the minimum line. If it does drop past the minimum line, we do risk air entering the system. Ensure that the master cylinder reservoir is clean. Wipe off any dirt or loose debris with a rag. This reduces the chance of any dirt entering the system. When adding more fluid, use the correct fluid that is required for your vehicle. An assistant is required for this next step. Have them sit in the car, pump the brake pedal four to five times and hold the brake pedal down firmly. Now open the bleeder screw and watch the fluid fill the clear hose. If there is air in the system, you will notice no fluid comes out at first or there will be air bubbles in the fluid. When the screw is open, your assistant will feel the brake pedal sink. Before the pedal stops at the floor, close up the bleeder screw. Both you and your assistant will need to communicate to determine when to open and close the bleeder screw. If done incorrectly, air can be introduced into the system, which we don't want. Again, have your assistant pump up the brakes, then determine if they are hard or soft. If there is no air in the system, the pedal will be hard. If the pedal is soft or spongy, there may be a small amount of air still in the system. Repeat the procedure if the pedal is soft or spongy. Once finished up, ensure the bleeder screw is tight. Then continue this procedure for the rest of the wheels if need be. Dispose of any access fluid correctly and replenish the master cylinder reservoir. Pump the brakes up and inspect for any leaks. If you have accidentally touched the rotors or any brake fluid gets spilled on the braking system, we do not want this on the braking surface as this can jeopardize the braking performance. Therefore, you will need to clean this up before any brake usage. This concludes the rest of my tour video. If you have any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to post them below. Also, please subscribe to my channel and like my video. Thank you for watching.